Welcome back to Guitar Search Saturdays. This is episode 36, shot at Pakenham Music, here in Victoria, Australia. Even after 36 episodes of Guitar Search Saturdays, I haven't actually gone through all of the shops here in my hometown, so there's still plenty of episodes on the way. If you do enjoy Guitar Search Saturdays, please give the video the thumbs up, I appreciate that, and also share it around with your friends, anyone who might be interested in a virtual guitar shop tour. Without question, Pakenham Music is one of the newest shops to pop up in Melbourne. As I was scrolling through the internet looking for music shops, I was like, I don't remember seeing that a few months ago. And there it is, a new shop is born. While there's something epic about massive music stores, I also like the personality of the smaller shops. And this is one of those smaller stores that has lots of really cool stuff. Let's go in and take a look. This is the first of the guitar walls and what we're looking at on the bottom row are some Schecters and Yamaha guitars and at the back there there's also some Tokais which we'll get to in just a moment. Let's take a look. Schecter really nailed this matte black finish on the top of their guitars. I think it looks stunning. Once you get up to the fretboard though it's a little too evil looking for a blues guy like me. All jokes aside, if you are into heavier styles of music, you'll definitely get a kick out of some of the guitars they've got on the wall at Pagan & Music. Yamaha definitely making some of the best guitars they've ever made currently, at least in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. This is the Yamaha Revstar RS502T loaded with two P90 pickups. I would love to play one of these in a lefty, but I have a feeling they don't make any. But overall, what a beautiful looking guitar. Sitting right next to the Revstar is a Tokai Love Rock electric guitar, very similar to the one I have, but this is actually a Chinese made one, whereas mine's a Japanese made one. But check out the top on this thing. It looks beautiful. It's no secret here in Australia that Tokai guitars are a bit of a hidden gem worldwide, but they're also renowned for having some of the best quality control straight off the shelf. <laughs> And if you're not into the Les Paul or ES335 style electrics that Tokai make, they also do a range of T-style or Tallys and S-styles or Strat electric guitars. And now you probably realize why Tokai was the original lawsuit guitar. This traditional series Tally is based on the specs or very similar to that of a 62 vintage Telecaster without of course the vintage price tag. Back in the day, I always wanted a Cherry ES-335 because that's what Eric Clapton played. I was a big fan. And over the years, though, I've kind of started to appreciate that actual sunburst finish on a 335 a whole lot more. This 335 is known as the ES-73. In terms of value for money, it's definitely worth checking out if you want to add a 335 to your arsenal. The bottom row of guitars also feature pretty much the same brands. But there's one guitar along the bottom that definitely caught my eye and you might have just seen it out of the corner of your eye earlier. <laughs> Let's go check it out. This is a Tokai Legacy Telecaster and check it out, it's actually relicked already straight out of the factory. This isn't one of the high-end Japanese ones either, it's still made in China. I think it's a really great thing to see an affordable electric guitar with relicking. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, nor the hot pink will be either, of course, but I think it's a really cool thing to be able to get access to an instrument that has relicking straight off the shelf, as opposed to paying those sort of custom shop premium prices. One of the cool things about Pakenham Music is it's geared towards beginner and intermediate guitarists, but they're also offering quality instruments that actually play well, and these are some of those. We have some SX guitars. I've actually owned a few of these over the years. I actually fell for a few when I did a Guitar Search Saturdays at another shop, and they play beautifully. They sound great. You don't need to mod them. 
It's just one of those really great guitars, very similar to a Squire Classic vibe. Let's go check out some amplifiers. Something cool about a really good selection of acoustic and electric practice amplifiers, there's also a few bass amps in this collection as well. This behemoth of an electric guitar amplifier is the Laney Alex 212. It's a 120 watt solid state amplifier. It features two 12 inch speakers and it kicks out 120 watts RMS. It also has a three band EQ and onboard reverb. For quite a while there, I didn't see too many Laney amps around any shops locally. It's great to see them at Packenham Music. And that's right about when I saw these. Here we have a pair of Strauss amplifiers. These are identical minus the cosmetic differences on the outside, one being Tolex and one being Tweed. These are 15 watt full valve amplifiers or tube amps and they feature a 10 inch speaker and you would think maybe they're kind of similar to the Princeton reverbs, but they're not. They're actually EL84 output tubes, making them kind of similar, I guess, to a Blues Junior but voice completely different. You know what? Let's plug in and make some noise. I have my PRS SE with me, so let's do it. These amps also feature a pretty rock and tremolo system. I also just got the green light to crank it up and give it a shot. For those wondering, I was actually plugged into the Tweed one. It wouldn't have made any difference. They both sound identical, but overall it was a pretty surprising experience plugging into these Strauss amps. Strauss brand goes back many years here in Australia. Their amps, like everything else these days, are made offshore. That said, if you're looking for a small combo and you live in Australia, this might be a viable option. Packet of Music also offer a wide selection of effects pedals, everything from MXR, Dunlop, Dazzatronics, more, and quite a number of other brands as well. I always smile when I see local shops supporting local builders. This is the Dazzatronics Professional Drive. I did a video of this when it first came out. He's a local builder here in Melbourne, Australia, and he makes some amazing pedals. It's green for a reason. It has that tube screamer flavor with the switch in one position. If you flick the switch, it sounds like a Boss Overdrive. Pretty cool and very functional. The acoustic side of the wall features mandolins, banjos, and lots of acoustic guitars. Here's just a few of them. One of the fun things for me about doing a Guitar Search Saturday is finding brands I've never seen before. This acoustic brand is called Gilman Guitars. 
This is something I've never seen up until doing this particular episode. For around 320 Australian dollars, you're getting a really decent guitar. It includes a spruce top, a walnut back and sides, and it looks like they come both with a matte finish as well as a high gloss version. I actually thanked Back Into Music for stocking not only this acoustic guitar in a lefty, but also earlier I saw a left-handed SX electric guitar. Great guitars for beginners to get into and to get playing without all the problems associated with a guitar that doesn't play well. One of the things I personally like about Packender Music is they're not just a guitar shop. They have drums, keyboards, accessories, PA equipment, mixers, all that kind of thing as well. It's great to see that in such a small shop. They've really packed it full. I don't know about you, but as a guitar player, I love still looking at snare drums. I have no idea why. How cool are these? If you're up for some lessons, they also do that as well. This was something that I didn't realize they had dedicated rooms for when I first walked in the front door. And that wraps up another Guitar Search Saturdays. A massive thanks to the guys at Packender Music for allowing me to come through with the camera and to do this walkthrough. If you do live in Melbourne, definitely check them out. I'll leave all the links to their website in the description below and you can find their address from there. A massive thanks to everybody who supports Guitar Search Saturday, both just on YouTube and also on Patreon. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to these special folks on Patreon who do support getting their names in the credits. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like to find out more about Patreon, links will be below. Thanks again for watching. My name's Shane. See you on the next one. Mm -hmm.